Hi, this is Dory with Prairie Scraps, and today I'm going to show you the June Chalk Couture um, transfer, and it is called Pinwheels, and it's got um, Freedom Transfer, as well as a Celebrate, I don't even know where I put it, Transfer, which I'm going to use on this little board that I erased. So if you want more, oh, Celebrate is over here. I moved it, there's the Celebrate. And then it's got different choices. Um, it's got a stripe pinwheel and a buffalo check, as well as some stems for the pinwheel, which I'm not going to use today, and um, a little button for the pinwheel. And I've already got the um, star pinwheel on there, if you can see that. So what I'm gonna show you is um, do you see these little X's there? Those are some marks so that you can line up your um, transfer. And of course, the first time you use a transfer, you want to go ahead and fuzz it. That's what they call it. And you want to throw it on um, something to fuzz it. We have a cloth for it, but I've just been using towels. And sometimes I even use my T-shirt and just put it right on my T-shirt that I'm wearing. So to fuzz it, and the reason you want that to do that is because you don't want it to stick on too hard onto your transfer. So there's my, um, I fuzzed it, and then all you have to do is, as you can see on these, um, there's those are the lineups, you line them up so that you can see the ones you painted on there before, and it perfectly lines up your pinwheel. And I debated about whether I should do this it should per should perfectly line it up. And you don't wanna, I just painted this a little bit ago. Um, I find this the hardest part is lining it up. I don't have a whole lot of patience for it. But that being said, I'm thankful they put the, the marks on there so that I can find it. But I can't, I'm really bad at it. Where is it? There it is. Okay, and this one. All right. All right, so I got that one on there and you just wanna get that transfer on there and try to get all the bubbles out of it as much as you can. Of course, you don't wanna to push too hard. I'm using candy apple red on this so that it'll look like it's a, um, 4th of July transfer and I'm putting and of course when you use candy apple red it does stain your transfer so don't be surprised I use that um, eraser the board eraser on it when it's down in the sink to try to get as much as I can off of it um, I haven't been doing chalk couture I got kind of sick and had an emergency surgery and so it's been kind of packed away and my chalks have gotten really dry and actually um, I was able to reconstitute it with water. So one of them, I'm not sure my white's going to come to, but at least my red and gray are looking good, which is why I'm using red and gray. So there you go. Ooh, that looks so good. Isn't that cute? All right. Can you see that? All right. You want to take that and wash that for me? All right. So that is the red. And then um, I'm just going to dry this really quick so that I can put that celebrate on there. Whoops, sorry for the noise. Okay, that is really cute actually. I wonder if I, and then those little markings and just wipe right off actually. And I might have to come back with the eraser to do that later. Okay, so then I wanted to put Freedom on there. Now that I've got that a little dry. And I think I'm gonna do Freedom in yellow. What do you think about that? Got my daughter helping with the water. All right. I'm gonna stick the freedom on there. I like the freedom. We have a big celebration in our town um, for 4th of July. And so 
um, it's fun to put out Fourth of July decorations, I think, because of that celebration. All right, so I'm going to do the yellow, what is it called? Um, bumblebee is the color of this paste. And medium size one. This was one scraper that I cut in half and I have a little one and then a bigger one. And I'm just going to do this as quickly as possible. Try not to let it dry up on me. Wish me luck. Like I said, my chalks are a little bit on the dry side. So I'm trying to go as quickly as I can and not get them. Um, dry on there because otherwise they peel off if they dry too much on the transfer um, when you pull them off it'll have little peel marks so all right so there is the freedom and you want to try to pull from the center as much as possible and do it nice and slow I guess I should have done that from the other side so that you can see it come off um, you can see doing it nice and slow so it Oof, that one's sticking. Like I said, you want to pull from the center so you don't, if you pull from a corner, it'll kind of distort the transfer. All right, ooh, that's exciting. Doesn't that look cute? All right, so there's the freedom. Sorry, I got the yellow paint in the way. So cute. And then I'm going to do, oops, got a little on there, of the yellow. Nice thing about chalk is it does wash off. And the great thing is, is I use this for Valentine's Day and I haven't gotten anything done because I was so sick. Um, but, uh, there, got a little water on there. They, uh, so I had, I still had Valentine's Day still on there. That's the funny thing. Okay, so next I'm gonna just put the center dot on the middle. Um, and I think I'm going to do that in yellow as well. Again, we're going to fuzz that before we put it on. The other thing I do is I write on the back of the transfer, um, the right side up, what goes on it. So it's pinwheels and that's the dot. I wasn't very creative with that. And then this just is going to go right in the center, I think. I'm going to try not to push on that yellow section where the freedom is and just do there easy peasy and you could put the nice thing about the chalk it seems to last like forever especially if you're using it more often than i have been um but it just lasts and lasts and lasts so there you go oh isn't that so cute right so there it is the finished project like i said i will take and get those little markings off with my board eraser um you can see that I don't put it in there. There we go. That is my little sign for 4th of July. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you think.